Y'all hear that? I guess you ain't afraid no more. <laughs> I love that part. What's going on, guys? It's Alula. We're back with another video. You know what I mean? It's a Tuesday, and I'm thinking of a new segment, right? We got Goose's eggs. That's all good and well. Massive success. If you haven't watched, watch it. Watch me be right. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Tuesday, I'm thinking about threats. Well, I guess I guess threats would work better for Thursday. Thursday, TH, threats, TH. We're going to do it Tuesday, though. We might move it to Thursday. But listen, Goose's threats. Now, what does this mean? What is this series going to be about? Why do I care? It's going to be very short videos, three minutes or less. And basically, we're going to talk about which team has come out and looked like a bigger threat after this past week's games or slate of games. We'll pick one or two teams, talk about them, why we are impressed, and that's about it. Uh, also, I want to touch up Aaron Rodgers, Hurt, Achilles, Tendon, uh, out for the season. Just the worst. You know, the team I was probably most excited to watch outside of the Colts, obviously. And, again, just it hurts, man. That's all I'll say about that. Speaking of things that hurt, needles hurt because I donated blood today. Wear pink, give red. Come on, guys. One blood. <laughs> but listen, that was all good. So, you know, today, while I was sitting in that chair, I was thinking, I was like, what really stuck out to me? What really stuck out to me today or on Sunday? And I'll tell you what, the Miami Dolphins. Now, listen, I live down here in South Beach. I, You know, I, I see the palm trees. I see the, the Floridians. You know, I, I, I talk, I mingle. You know, I work with these people, and the hype is up, up, and away. For some reason, Mike McDaniel is, number one, I think he's becoming a coach of the year contender only after one week. Uh, number two, can anyone, honestly, can anyone stop the Dolphins' offense? And I think, I think... That they have one more piece. I love Raheem Mostert, Mostert, but they really need it. Imagine they need a trade for Jonathan Taylor. I'm not a big running back guy. You know what I mean? I, listen, if you know me, you know how I feel about running backs. You can watch my videos about running backs. But I feel like if they get Jonathan Taylor, they could legitimately be unstoppable. Tyreek Hill, we all know about him. I'm not going to waste time. Jalen Waddle, they might be a better duo than Chase and Higgins at this point. And it just... Watching the game, third down after third down, Tua rolls out of the pocket, hits Tyreek, hits Waddle. You know, Braxton Berrios made a couple of big catches. The Dolphins are asserting themselves as the best offensive team in football with quite possibly the second or third best, probably third best offensive play caller behind Shanahan and Andy Reid in the NFL. We have to start taking the Dolphins seriously, guys. Now, uh, you know, this week they're going over to New England. You know, that game's going to be a little bit, might be a little bit dicey. We, we might leave, leave it off the goose's eggs. And also, speaking of the eggs, listen, guys, the eggs might not hatch next week. I, you know, I, I took a little preview on the lines. Nasty work, okay? A lot of nasty work by Vegas. Bunch of home underdogs, three and a half points or under. It's it's not looking good. We we might suffer. So a little disclaimer for you guys. But yeah, listen, the Dolphins are a real threat. They got the speed. They got the pass rush. Big fan Geo. Jalen Ramsey's gonna come back in December. Uh, that slot corner that they had had a huge sack on Herbert on the one yard line. You know, uh, Kohu's his name. Listen, they just have a lot of talent. So I'm really starting to take the Dolphins more and more seriously. Only thing we have to pray, uh, unlike Aaron Rodgers, hopefully Tua does not get an injury, season-ending injury. That's all That's all I can wish for. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. You know what I mean? Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you again tomorrow or Thursday. Bye-bye.